Hi friends, this is Sarah Baldwin. I'm a Waldorf teacher, an author, and the owner of Bella Luna Toys, and I'm back with you on Sunday with another Sunday with Sarah. And thank you so much for all of you who keep writing in with your questions and comments. One of the frequent questions I get is, how can I become a Waldorf teacher? Well, let me start by sharing my own journey, what led me to becoming a Waldorf teacher. My, I was a new a mother of young children. I think uh, my son Harper was four at the time, and my younger son Will was a year old. And I was, I had heard about Waldorf education, and when I went to visit a school for the first time, I stepped into the Waldorf kindergarten, presumably researching it for to send my son Harper to, and I was so taken. There was an aha moment for me. Um, let me back up and say that at the same time I had been thinking about going back to school to become a teacher. I didn't know what I wanted to teach or what grade level, um, but when I stepped in the Waldorf kindergarten it was magical and I just thought this is the right environment for children with the smell of bread baking and little teacups on the table and little wool slippers all lined up by the door and the children who were playing outside just looked so healthy with rosy cheeks and it was so different from the mainstream preschool I had been teaching in. Um, so during the the kindergarten interview, which was supposed to be for Harper, I asked the teacher, how do you become a Waldorf teacher? And this was something I thought I, I would put off for a few years until my children were older, but she told me there was a part-time training that met for three weeks in each summer and then Saturdays throughout the school year. So that was something I could manage, and I ended up enrolling in the teacher training before my son Harper enrolled in, in Waldorf Preschool. So that said, um, if, if you want to become a Waldorf teacher, there are two big commitments you have to make. You make a commitment to each student in your class to help them reach their highest potential as a human being. And the second commitment is a commitment to self-development and inner work that is integral to becoming a Waldorf teacher. And for me, that path has been so rich. Um, there are trainings, there are part-time trainings, as I did, and there are full-time trainings. Uh, it's typically a two, if you go full-time, it's typically a two-year process. Uh, there's a foundational year in which you study Rudolf Steiner's worldview called Anthroposophy, which I've talked about in another video. It means knowledge of the human being. So during that foundational year, in addition to reading Steiner's books and lectures and discussing them with your fellow students and, and teachers, you're also, it's like getting a Waldorf education yourself. You are participating in, in artistic activities. You're painting, you're drawing, you are, um, doing handwork, making dolls, and I learned to embroider and crochet. You might be doing woodworking. I carved a, a wooden bowl for the first time. You're gardening. You're doing your rhythmy, which is a form of, of movement that's practiced in Waldorf schools. All of those art, artistic activities really help you understand what it means to be fully human and to make use of all those capacities we are born with. Um, and they're helping with your own inner development. So in your training, you will grow uh, not only intellectually, but socially and physically and artistically. Uh, as I've said before in other videos, it was a life-changing experience for me and for my family indirectly. It really changed the path of our lives. We moved from Los Angeles to Maine and bought a farm and, and um, uh, it was enriching in so many ways. Now that said, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing what I did and enrolling in teacher training when you have very young children. It is a big undertaking and a big time commitment. In the Waldorf community, there's a phrase called Waldorfans, um, which Waldorf teachers know to be the children of Waldorf teachers who often get the short end of the stick um, or 
not as much attention as, as the students in a teacher's class. Um, there are times when I wish that I had discovered Waldorf education earlier before I had children and done the training. However, if you're like me, I felt so called to it, like a moth to the flame. Once I discovered it, I felt like it's what I'd been looking for my whole life. Um, I felt like I, I came to know that children were meant to be my life's work, um, and I managed to, to make it work. Uh, there are 14 uh, uh, accredited Waldorf teacher training programs around uh, in North America, in the U.S., including Canada and Mexico. Um, there are part-time and full-time trainings. Um, and if you're interested in learning more about those programs and what each offers, you can visit the uh, Association of Waldorf School of North America, also known as OSNA, their website is waldorfeducation.org and uh, you can learn more about what it takes to become a Waldorf teacher and, and where you can enroll in teacher training. Now if you are the parent of very young children or if you're more interested in early childhood and very young children, birth to three and preschool, I also highly recommend looking into LifeWays now, I used to be on the board of LifeWays North America. LifeWays is a special training for parents and caregivers and teachers um, about, that's centered around the care of the early, early child. So whether you are a parent or uh, a daycare provider or you would like to start a Waldorf-inspired play group, LifeWays training might be for you. And even just as a parent, if you do it, you will learn about some of these, these philosophies uh, that inspire Waldorf education. You will be able to participate in these, these uh, artistic activities and, and develop your own self-growth and personal growth. You can find LifeWays at lifewaysnorthamerica.org. I'll post links to both of these below this video. So I hope that inspires some of you to investigate these options. Um, I hope it inspires some of you to go on and do the training, if not for yourself, and to go on and become a Waldorf teacher. Um, I just can't recommend it highly enough. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the Sunday with Sarah YouTube channel. And I will be back and see you next week. Bye-bye.